Today I thought I'd show you um, a table that I'm working on. I've been working on it actually for quite a while now. Having fun doing experiments and trying to figure out, you know, what to do to solve the problem of separating um, very fine gold from very fine black and heavy sand. So I kind of have a bunch of beach sand and I keep, uh, I recover the gold <laughs> from the shaker table and I keep recycling it back into more sand and so forth. That way I just keep a continuous flow of material. So the problem is, is that, um, you know, if I go to the beach and I wanted to do a little prospecting or goofing around, I end up with a whole bunch, uh, even after running it through um, a bigger shaker table for separation, I end up with a bunch of black sand, like, you know, maybe we all do. And I want to uh, have a quick and efficient uh, way of separating that. So I built this table um, as an experimental table. The top can is independent of the motion stage and I can rotate the motion stage uh, in different directions so I can um, try to move the gold in various directions. Uh, a lot of fun experiments goofing around. So here's a look at the uh, real simple system. There's a drainage port on the table. It goes into here so that it's easy for me to you know, recover the, the uh, tailings. And there's a little pump. I don't even know what you call these things, or uh, a little aquarium pump or something. They're amazing. Um, like 10, 10 or 15 bucks on Amazon, and they pump plenty of water for this application, and it just goes into there. And then I have a, um, I have a battery power supply. I'll take you over there and show it to you in more detail. Here's the battery power supply that I use. It makes the machine portable if I wanted it to be. And um, I've described this in some detail in my previous video, which I'll link to uh, right now. You can see the link uh, below. Anyway, it all runs off of this. It's rechargeable, so when I'm using it in here, I can just keep the charger um, on. And in the field, this would last for um, many hours, 10 hours or more in the field. Here's a view underneath the uh, table showing the motion mechanism. These are flexure springs. Um, they hold up the table top. And there's a motor back there that's coupled on this arm to the table top. And there's an eccentric mechanism back here that causes the table to shake and these springs are at an angle so that the gold is can be moved in a direction if I want it to be and this angle is 20 degrees in this case so let me turn it on and uh, you can see the table shake So at the moment, I've been doing a lot of experiments. So I have lots of uh, different grooves cut in this piece of rubber. I can take the rubber off. I can put it back on. So I can do experiments kind of in real time quite easy. I'm playing with um, chevron patterns right now. And the motion of the table is uh, back and forth like this. I, I can rotate that motion in, in any direction I like, but right now I'm playing with the simple, you know, shake it uh, back and forth this way. So the water comes out here. This is just to, this helps to actually equalize the water flow uh, to make it more uh, laminar and even across here. And there's a drainage port and this thing um, is nice because it calms the splashing of the water. So here I've weighed out um, nearly 60 milligrams of 
reasonably fine gold. Unfortunately, there's three or four pieces of big sulfide left in here, which is probably not gold. <clears throat> Nonetheless, I'm going to use this as an experiment. I'll mix this with black beach sand right out of the bag I collected it in, and uh, we'll try to separate it. So here's the black beach sand right off of the beach. Okay, so I've weighed out 200 grams of the uh, black beach sand. So your problem is, you know, you've spent all day at the beach and you've concentrated down your material to 200 grams and there's only 60 milligrams of gold in it. I think we've probably ex all experienced that, but you want to get that 60 milligrams of gold um, out of here. So there's my 60 milligrams of gold with a little bit of sulfide left in it. We'll dump that into there. Okay. I'll put a little water in there, mix it up. The recirculating water in my system has a healthy dash of uh, jetteron in it, which is quite important. Okay, I've turned off the table shake, the shaking of the table to show you the final result of the separation. <clears throat> With this system I've got right now, it's very hard to get rid of uh, the last of the really heavy black sand for whatever reason. So, we'll snuffer this up. There may be a little bit left in this um, weird little groove I put in, in it. <clears throat> this really was meant to be uh, something else I was experimenting, but at the moment it's serving kind of as a safety groove. Yeah, I see little bits of gold. I'm not going to worry about that. We won't be too precise about this uh, little test, not down to the milligram anyway. There's the pan of gold, came out of the snuffer bottle. So I'll do my best to get rid of all of the black sand and um, dry it out and weigh it. There's the uh, separated gold and I'll weigh it. So I know you can't see the numbers on the screen very well, but that says 53. It's been up as high as 57, so, you know, I'll call it 55. 
So we went in with 60, we came out with 55, but we lost, uh, if you notice, we lost the um, sulfide, those fairly big sulfide crystals or whatever they were. So there you have it. I hope you found today's video interesting. We went in with 60 milligrams and I screwed up a little bit. We came out with 55. Um, I usually, if I do this really carefully, I get very close to 100% recovery. And this is part one. Part uh, two, I'm going to rotate the shaking mechanism so that it's actually perpendicular or nearly perpendicular with the table and try a very different technique. And in that video, I'll show you how to cut the, um, the rubber mat, how I do it. And uh, it's quite easy, it's part of the interesting part of, the, of this development effort. So please subscribe and um, watch for the next video. It should be fun.